Hello, fellow Nopets and Beat people. I'm George, the Gentleman Rocker, and yeah, welcome to the vlog. So, today I want to give you a little update. On Monday, the first episode of Modular Monday has gone online. Yeah, it's basically an introduction to the series, the idea and what I will build. And besides that, I am back at Steemit and I wanted to talk about why I use YouTube and not DTube. So I started using DTube around December, end of December, but it really lacks features. So the uploads are not very good quality. If you start an upload, it sometimes works, sometimes not. And the way I'm working here is I cut the vlog or modular Monday, and then I'll start uploading it and go home to get my kids. So I'm just here from short past eight in the morning till one o'clock or so. And I need to upload this stuff while I'm gone, which works fine with YouTube, but not really with DTube. That's why I switched back completely to YouTube. I use Steemit, of course, as another source or social media information service. I really like the idea of DTube, but it's not there right now. So what am I up to? So let me just make me a little more comfort comfortable. Yeah, what I'm up to. So as I said, I'm planning the second episode of Modular Monday and I have to do some woodworking on that. So I have some wood laying around here to build stuff. And yeah, there's more. And I will start filming that tomorrow. So today is Tuesday. Tomorrow I'll also live stream. So I'll do some live streaming, get some of the wood, bring it back to my place. I'm looking for a place to build my stuff as I don't want to cut wood in the studio. Of course, I have synthesizers here and equipment. Yeah, I need to cut some of the wood. So maybe I'll do it at home, film it and yeah, overdub it or something like that. We'll have to see. But I've printed my outline, what I have to do. And I will take a look. Maybe I'll stay at home Thursday and do the woodworking there. So that's another idea. So we'll see. Um, besides that, I've ordered some Eurorack modules as I got a payout from a client. And yeah, I invested in my Eurorack. So the next Modular Mondays will have some hardware in it. I have contacted Toman as the Mini Brute 2S is on hold till end of the month. And I asked them to send me at least the rack brute so that I can, yeah, add some modules to it at least and have a play with that. And for that, I'm looking at something else. And this is the Expressive E. Let me see if you can. Yeah, it should be hopefully kind of in focus. And what that is, it's, yeah, it's, it's a nice wooden panel that's, movable so you can move it left right and push it down in the front and the end and besides having usb and can connect to software on your pc which is something that i don't like and want you can power it via usb and have four cv out so you you have your move to left move to right and your push in the back and the front as cv outs which are nice to control some stuff. So I will try to use that. And I have the Roland SE02 here. I hope the audio will pick up if I start playing it. Well, at least there's some sound. I don't know how good it will be, but I've just connected the CV out to the filter in. So it has CV in for CV gate and filter. Just by pressing down on the expressive E, maybe I have to 
rearrange you, but then my framing will suck. I will do it like this. I can now change the filter. And what this will give me is I have ordered a sequencer, of course, to play my second voice or even my third, probably. And what this can give me is I can play the filter attack of a sequence. So if there's a sequence playing like this, I can, you can see that. At least you can see what I'm doing with my hands. just one CV. So as I say, it, it has four. So I can kind of play it. And with the left and right, I could add something like, yeah, modulation so that you can pitch band it. If you press it down in front, you could attenuate an LFO, for instance, and have the filter on the back. So you can push down on the back and the front, which is no problem as, let me grab this. As you can see, I will do a better episode on Modular Monday for this next someone. But as you can see, you can push down and can push down on the front, but you can also push down in the back and on the front. The only thing that you can't do both of is moving left and right as you have this plate, which is like, yeah, mounted on a spring it feels like it's mounted on a spring so you can move it left right up and down but yeah it translates really well and checking out the cv outs you can there's a cv one if you plug it to two there's nothing here but so the movement in the back doesn't change the one in the front at all. And then you have CV3, which is this direction. And four is the other one. So this is something I <clears throat> this is something I would send to an LFO amount, an attenuator that changes the LFO, stuff like that. As I said, the SEO2 just has this one in. You have CV and gate, but this doesn't send notes. So I can't check that. And yeah, oil racks on the way. I have my modular Monday. So there's stuff to come. And yeah, basically this is it. I'm working on how to build the modular Monday. I've changed some stuff. If you have seen the first episode, there was some flickering in the back and I will change that. I've got some lights. I don't know if you can see. I will try to focus to the back. They are saying my YouTube channel, my subscriber count, which is at 127. And I will update it every time. I'll do stuff and what's next to film. So let me get back in focus. Focus. So people of the internet, I hope I see you in the next modular Monday or the next vlog. And I will of course put online the live streams and you can come around on Twitch, which will be linked in the description down below. So see ya.